All right, guys, Smite Source is all new and improved. No longer just a build website. We built so much upon this. You've got a search bar at the top. You can look up your profile. You can go in. You can check out all your information. You can see your playtime overall, your win rates overall. You can see all your recent matches. You can expand upon your recent matches. Check all that information, the team's wards, the average HPM, the levels, uh, all everything you want to see everything you want to see then we got a tier list you can make your own as well it will not show up publicly same with your builds you can make your own builds but they are not public builds that means you have to solo link them to whoever you want to see them but i've got an updated tier list on here which will always remain updated with the title at the top we've got the recent most 10 builds that have been put on the website on the builds page you can also go to your gods you can click on a god and you can check out their builds you expand upon it as it says click for more details we've got everything here we've got explanations on the build we've got the alternative items you should build which will be in this information it'll say swap this for this if this happens an explanation that's a jungle the starter build the ability leveling priority order two three alt one strong matchups weaker matchups all there on the website everything you need you can go into your account you can create a build you can create a tier list you can link your account when you register and create an account on smite source you can then go to your profile and when you open it up, there will be a little claim button next to your profile. I've already claimed mine. Go ahead and claim that. You'll do that so later on, actually, I think you might have implemented it. You can. You can just open up the web page, click on your profile, and this is something we're working on, so it'll get better and better and better. Um, you can see all your information right away. So you don't have to search up your name, register, boom, your profile's here. If you make any tier lists or any builds, they're all under the dashboard. So here's the most recent builds I've made. Here's the tier list. You can link this to your friends. Here's the link. Uh, you can link a build to your friend. Here's the link. And remember, your builds aren't public. My stuff will all be public. We will be building and expanding upon this website just all the time, consistently. So be prepared for that. Check it out, smitesource.com. It's your place to be, everything for Smite. What is going on, boys and girls of YouTube? Drumming right in this game a little bit quicker than usual. Cause I was eating a burrito. It was delicious. Yes, sir. <laughs> We're playing Ymir. I've seen a bunch of requests for Ymir. So I wanted to play him, see what he feels like with the new uh, pen items. See if there's any viability there. Like obviously Ymir works in the jungle, right? But your late game is really, really hard to play. Unless the other team positions poorly. Your early game is pretty strong. Your mid game is eh. You know, like, you just die so easily. Especially against the comps that are played these days. Oh, no. When your Atlas dies that early. Okay, my mid is scared. When you're mid lane Merlin, you should never lose pressure to a Baron. It should be impossible. You gotta, you know, do some more, buddy. Nice job. Good play. He's taking a full wave, but yeah, you should never lose pressure in the mid lane like that. We'll survive anyway. It's not the end of the world because Bassett dies, but yeah. That's weird that my stun didn't cancel out. What are you doing? Yeah, make sure you use fire stance your first wave. What is he doing? Oh, he has a warrior's axe too. That's why he took so little, such little damage. My man forgot how to play the game. He's just going for poke the whole time. Dude's never going to leave his tower late if he plays like that. A little obsessed with your boy. So we get the kill on Bassett early, which is huge. Hopefully it helps my mid laner. Maybe I need to do Merlin mid video. To help you guys out and get control. So they have a... Hmm. They have a Jason Daru. What are these names? I have run into some of the weirdest names today. Orphan Ghost getting the slapper clappers. Everyone's playing what they see in the SPL right now. They're literally playing everything they see in the SPL right now. It's super weird. Great combos. Unvor oh, good ring bounce too. That was clean. Job. Good invade. Nice and clean. Nice and safe. We'll go get our blue. I'm gonna help him with his wave. Actually, the wave's already cleared. So I'm just gonna do this. I am still helping him. <laughs> not, not really doing anything of, uh, of importance or anything significant, but we're helping him. I wanna go farm my jungle. Their Bastet should go to speed and then probably go mid. Wouldn't surprise me if he kills the mid laner at all. I got just with the way my Merlin's been playing. Hopefully he survives. We'll see. But I need to farm. I'm gonna wait for these other creeps to spawn. We're going to solo this since Naja still in lane, which is good for me. I just missed those side creeps. We won't talk about that. 
Let's just farm. Let's get our items. Be aggressive. Your base damage is so high, you can literally fight the whole game from like level one to... I think it's like level 12, similar to where other gods peak, um, you fall off. Like where Thor, like hard peaks, you fall off kind of hard as Ymir, unless you have a huge lead and you've been able to hold on to it. Do. And we're backing. Imagine we get invaded right now. That'd be rough. That'd be so sad. We need 200 gold. We could go Divine Ruin. They have a decent amount of healing, but I really can't afford to rush Divine Ruin in the jungle on a god that needs CDR. So we're going to go Spear of Deso, get that huge power spike, uh, get all the pet. Really, it just ups your early game damage dramatically. And that's what we want to look for. We want to buff this early, like, five minutes to eight to nine minute damage. Need to farm a little bit more. We have the potential of killing Baron really easily, which is nice. Oracle's going to be up soon. Those are down. I just don't have beads. So I have to play smart. Normally, you'd see me being really aggressive on something like that, but without beads, if I get pulled all the way in and then anyone else follows up, I'm in trouble. Dang, he's on the timer for those oracles. Guaranteed he goes right. Every jungler that farms oracles wants to gank because they sit there forever clearing those oracles and then they want to fight. Here he comes. This is rough. Is that all? Trying to juke it. Oh, we didn't juke it. That's not good. It's a fat ult, though. All right, we're good. Oh, good rotation. Yeah, put in combat. Up, guys. I walled off the Baron. Somehow he ends up killing both my mage and my ADC. What? This dude is huge. Golden Blade Bologna is huge. What? Yeah, we don't want... It's a fat way. This is really greedy because there's a strong chance that they could test me here. I don't want to waste my stun. Yep, here we go. Excellent work. No! He's just tanking the tower like it's nothing! Alright, he's dead. Big, big worth, actually. That ends up being really worth to get my ADC back in the game. Wait, what? What? Hello? <laughs> what just happened? He was 10 health with a full wave in the tower. What? <laughs> what? Below us 4 0 now, dude. Oh, okay. This is going to be rough. I don't know why I thought the duo lane that was losing to a Bologna ADC would play that free kill, but right. it's a Bologna eating a full wave too. They're not tanky. You guys got to recognize items. That's also defense. He just has sustain and it's not good sustain. It's super minor. Oh no. Yeah, that it's absolutely a kill you go for, by the way, if you're that, uh, that ho Yi, you do not let them tank a full wave, use their abilities on it to clear. And then walk through your tower line. You gotta, you gotta do something. How did that Bologna end up healing so much though? Was it Ymir Meditate? Something healed that dude a lot. Like an absurd amount. We're gonna farm this. I wanna kill this guy, but without blink, if he doesn't come off that tower, it's nearly impossible. Good kill. I was definitely on a ward, by the way. <laughs> There's another Bologna kill on Ho Yi. It's weird because Ho Yi farms Bologna. Bologna should not counter you on Ho Yi at all. Like, not in the slightest bit. We're gonna hope his ult's down. Oh, good dash. All right. <laughs> He's so fast, dude. I got a big shutdown there. there. He's so zoomy, that passive. I'm surprised his passive lasted long enough for it to still uh, affect anything there. 
I have like just no teammates. Seems like they're everywhere and we're nowhere. It feels bad. Hopefully my team can step it up. All right, so we're going to the poly next. Obvious reasons. Ymir needs extra damage. You have one big damaging ability. That's your two. So you need to get the most out of that two and that combo. Polly is going to open that up and make that possible. Off of the poly, honestly, a Typhons will be really, really good. We need to go Bumba's Hammer this game. Without Bumba's Hammer, not going to be a good time. Like, it, it's... You're just not gonna have the CDR to to do what you need to do in a conquest match. Be careful, right? They're reds. Pro oh, nice. Gank, gank. Oh, right My Atlas isn't there. I think he just soloed mids. If you're a support, you shouldn't be soloing that stuff. You should be. You should go to that. Like you need to go help him. I keep blocking off that ability, and I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm not trying to hype myself up, but it's pretty clean. Alright. He got soloed under his tower again. Bro. <laughs> I don't understand what he's doing to make this so difficult. And I don't think my Atlas knows how to play Atlas, which sucks. Just right off the rip, if he'd had Benevolence, the healing would have done a lot for them in the lane. You can tower die for free because you've died to him so many times already, man. It's not... It, you gotta should have stopped fighting before. You can't realize after he's got five kills that you shouldn't fight him. You gotta realize after the first mistake that you can't fight him. Oh, my, my Naja is screwed. He got rotated on by the mid laners. That was a really... Good in gate or uh, invade if he was getting comms back as to what was going on. Enemies have returned to base. Ooh. Ooh. Boop. 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 All right, so we'll drop his blue. <sighs> Realistically, I have to play for the grouping. I need to just out farm and play for the grouping. If I can kill this Bologna, I will. I'm going to try. I don't know how realistic that's gonna be uh he's just big he's real big and i'm gonna have to have anti heal which i don't want i don't want it all it doesn't it doesn't <laughs> apply well in this build so what i want to do we'll try to kill her once without anti heal one time if it goes poorly we either don't go to kill her again or we have to rush anti heal um, I'm gonna go Typhons next. The goal with this is gonna be able to, is just to be able to sustain a little bit into the team fight with uh poly HP lifesteal, whatever, and that I don't think Atlas has a clue what he's doing on that character, which is really just unfortunate. There's uh, I have like five videos up of Atlas, so if you don't know what you're doing on Atlas, you don't know how to build, how to play, you're struggling. All right, we got no Bologna play here. Oh. Gate right lane. On my way. Enemy missing. All right. I guess her ult was down. I don't <laughs> I don't know why that was so easy. I did not expect any ganks to be that easy. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Guys, when you're a or support player, sorry, you're you gotta realize you're just really tanky junglers. Like, you, all you wanna do is rotate around and start fights over and over again, and set your team up. That that's it for the first 15 minutes of the game. Some realistically the first 12, but with the way games have been being played lately, like he could just throw you. You mean you're into the tower every five seconds, but he's choosing not to. He's pathing safe. He just walked through my wall. What? Good pull there, though. I got to give him that. That was nice. Come on. Don't be afraid, Atlas. Walled off, baby. Good rotation from Ho Yi. I'm going to be honest with you. Really clean rotation from Ho Yi. Thank you. That was a great rotation from OE considering the Bologna was dead. He needs to go back to farming though. Or the Bologna's gonna rotate in here and get, get three kills, and my early that gank is gonna have zero impact on the game. There's Bologna. 
Hopefully they can do something to her. I'll try to come in and help. Oh, you just got a triple alt. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Can play from Atlas. Wait, they, retreat. You guys are killing him. I just inted really hard. Oh, you had all me too? Goodness, that sucks. I didn't even need to help that. That's unfortunate. Unfortunate. I misplayed. I should have just let them handle it. Handle the Bologna. We knew they were coming back pretty soon, which just sucks. Oh, he's going magic. Dude, what is this? The amount of times people counter try to like like build just to make sure I can't kill him is not okay. You you got a back, bro. Yeah, you got baited, dude. You got a back. What in the world, mystical mail? <laughs> Why is he a mystical mail? <laughs> There's no value, guys. If you're a support, please don't do this. It doesn't do anything. This is has no value to you. It it's not gonna create any value for you. Baron has Axe and Avoid. He's going super tanky, which I respect. If I wasn't... I, I'm probably going to have to build defensive items here to, to pair with my Bumbus Hammer. I'm just not sure which item I want to go. Because Mantle will be good, but Mantle's kind of eh. You know, kind of eh. We are way ahead. Oh, no. We're not way ahead. I thought we were way ahead of this Bastet. What happened? She's just farming waves. So are we, though, which is fun. Get our clear on, full clear the wave. That's one thing about Ymir that's sick. That glorious clear. So we have Typhons. I don't like that we're about to fight over here like at all. Bro, he just got the stomping tin of time. Okay, well, that's bad. Oh my gosh, what is he doing? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. That's really unfortunate. That fight should have been beautiful because that Bassat got 60% rate as soon as she leaped in. I hit her for 900 and she just walked away from the fight. That's rough. That is rough. That is rough. That is rough. Yeah. Go out of your way to like watch a video when you're playing one of the newer gods so you don't do what this guy's doing. <laughs> he waddles in too late. That's how it feels, dude. It literally feels like that's all he's doing. He's waddling around the map just slow and not doing anything. Oh, man. All right. So we got Typhons online. A little bit more sustained. You can see our all hits really, really hard. I really just want some survivability, man. Honestly, I don't want to go Magi's Blessing. It's just... It's not a bad idea. Eh, we might go Magi's Blessing. I lied. I'll probably go Magi's Blessing next. I'm going to farm out this left wave since my solo is over there trying to defend the Gold Fury, which is already gone. And we'll get our XP up. Gosh, this dude is just getting free kills. Free kills. It experience. This is... um. This is really common though. When people play against something they're not used to playing against, they int a lot. It's a really bad habit for to be in. So please, just because someone takes Bologna ADC doesn't mean you run at them the whole time. It means they have a specific reason they're not going to work. Like that's not a good ADC, right? He's got average clear. He's going to get poked while clearing. He, you can keep space from him because it's a melee god. You have to play around that. If you can't play around that, just sit there and only clear your wave. Don't do anything else. Oh. Oh, no, 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 Easily, cheesily, boy. What is this build? Excellent work. <laughs> what is that build? Oh, that's not up. Okay, well, we got out of that. We hit a Baron all and a Ymir stun. Attack. 
It was very scary. I'm not gonna lie to you. Very, very scary. I mean, should I just go rank this and go for the one shot builds? Or should I go for I'm dying so fast, I'm not sure anything else is gonna matter. I really am not sure anything else is gonna matter. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go to spear. I'm swapping up the build. We're gonna have fun with this. I do I don't think I'll be able to play a normal style. We don't have a support. So my front line is Naja, who's gonna ult somebody up in the air. So it's just gonna be me in the front line. My support is just late all the time. Late, 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 slow, slow, slow. It's like, it, it, it feels like the boots are still in the game and he just didn't buy boots. Level 11, man. He is so far behind. Goodness gracious. I don't have beads. So even I, although I, oh, here we go. I feel like we could have contested that. That polyprog, baby. All right, that's fine. Big damage coming out. Hopefully, they don't notice I went ring this. Ideally. Oh, here he comes. Looking for another play. I saw him peek in the corner. I can hear him. Yeah. I wanted to wait to wall because I know he's going to jump back. Wall's up so soon. Let's try. My Atlas is uh, just, just moving slow, man. Moving slow. What are you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why would you go into that? He's gone. What is happening? All your safe positioning. Just throw it out the window. All right. Well, our combo is going to hit very, very hard now. So my goal here is going to be not stunning because the stun is going to lead to instant beads and it makes me pause. Like I can't move during that time. Um, and we're going to try to just get the biggest poly proc possible. I think off of like a blink too, but I don't know. That was a good stun. No world where your ADC should be stunned right there, by the way. Nice job, guys. Yo, wall still up. Oh, that's a good stun. Got him for free. There we go. That was so lucky. What? How was me walling you in and killing you lucky? <laughs> <laughs> what? That was so lucky. <laughs> okay. I'm so confused. I don't know what was lucky. He, All I did was blink alt him and then wall him in. And wait for his poly to fall off the auto. I'm like, I don't, I don't understand what was luck about that, but okay. Let's ask him. What was lucky about that? I'm interested. Because I'm pretty sure I haven't missed a wall yet. <laughs> so I'm wondering where the luck came into play. As accurate, that was the right play. That was clapping your cheeks. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> I've heard a lot of things in my day, but I've never been whispered that. Mm, that's funny. Do this, do this, do this. Buddy, you made the play. All right, well, I heal enough to do this by myself, I guess, anyway. Dude, we hit hard, boys. We hit real hard. We're chonky right now. There's the kill again. That sucks. And I guess I'm just going to go... I don't know. Should I go spear last or should I go rod? Rod of duty is definitely better. Did he leap? I guess that was luck too. 
He should be fine. Nice job. I might die here. Yep. Dang, dude. They did gold and rotated all the way over here. Are y'all grouped? What is going on in this game? But how do they do gold? Rotate all the way over here before my mid ran from here to here. It's really frustrating. Yeah, they're not going for that. So Rod, Rod's so good. Soul Reaver, so good. I think Rod is just our best bet at like actually one-shotting somebody. With a build like this. Only problem I have with this, I'm going to be missing 50%, or not 50, 10% CDR. Bro, you, you walked right into him. You got it, it, you can't walk right into him. Please, just stop walking in. If you're gonna rotate, rotate when we're fighting. Please. All right, let me let me analyze what's going on here. All right, he's getting a CDR. That's good. He actually hits fairly hard. He's got a good build. Naja went for the Witchblade to counter him, which makes sense. I think we just lose fire for free here, which is just sad. ADC should have gone to fire, and I could have defended this. Let's try. I don't know how we're going to defend with our comp. Our comp is a very run at them. Should have had an early lead type of comp. You can see why we don't have a lead. <laughs> if you guys are wondering where it went. Um, you know, when you're dual lanes 1 and 15 with 18 assists. Not usually the look you're looking for. But we're okay. We'll do what we can. I bet you they rotate over here because this happens to me a lot. Uh, whenever I'm in a game like this, I look to put all like push a side wave, which is the smart play. Problem is, when people know you're in the game, they know you're gonna do it. It's kind of hard to get away with. Retreat left lane. I really want to split push, and I don't know where he went, so I'm scared. I know the AMC was just there. He dropped the blue and cleared the one wave, but we don't know where he went. He's not even worth killing now, so he's going either jungle. He's a little tanky. Ymir is definitely getting tanky, so he's not the ideal target. The Baron is full defense, so he's not the ideal target. Pretty much just have to kill this Bologna. This Bologna has to die. If the Bologna doesn't die, we're in a predicament. We're going to stay here, so hopefully that back is... Eight. Oh, shoot. He's saying laugh my ass off when in reality, what? How do you get picked, man? Just send her to the Phoenix. Oh, I got him trapped, baby. Is that luck again, boys? I'm going to die for this. I don't care. We wall him in. We got the damage. Where's the team? I don't think they realize that he's full defense. This is without AMC here. I And Bologna still had her ult up, which is actually just insane to me. That was a really good ult for my nausea to catch. Got a rod online. I'll take that full commit. So notice, I, in my head, I was full committed to that fight so my team could follow up. More than likely, I was going to die. If I ran away, I might get my team hit by the AoE ability. So instead, I stay there. I make them throw their abilities onto me, waste their wall, waste all their disengage, and... Then I die, but my whole team kills their whole team. And now we're ahead. Yep. Aww, that's too bad. They should get mid tower to gold. Mid to gold is the move. Oh, we do a lot of damage though. I wish I wanted to see that all hit him because I think that all would hit the Bologna for like 1500, maybe 1600. I live pretty long time for a pretty long time considering I have rain does. Get that extra damage. I haven't noticed how hard my poly's hitting, but really the only person we're one-shotting is the Bastet or the Bologna. Bologna is the highest potential for a one-shot. Oh, baby, that clear is glorious. We should set up for gold. That gold will help us do fire if we want to fight. Bro, even I can solo gold. You got that, bud? Oh, my clear, Batman. Woo. All right, I'm gonna put a little dinky ward there. 
We need to go defend gold, in my opinion. Pluck him, pluck him, pluck him! Pull him to us! Bro, you gotta pick him up and throw him over to us. I don't know why I'm leading instead of my Atlas over here, because they're on this. They're 100% on this. I don't have blink. And if I put up my wall up, he's gonna... Oh, they didn't pull it. Nice. Look at that clear, dude. Mm. Nice little clear. Looking for the disengage. Might need a help. Got eliminated! Eliminated! Ah, we do so much damage! Wall the man! Come on! Kill him! Kill him! Yes! Let's go! Attack middle lane! Attack the Titan! Oh my gosh, the balloon is just gone! Dereated! No longer exists! Ah. We could have ended the game if they kill this guy. Oh my gosh. Get the polyproc on the towers. Oh, we don't have creeps here yet. I'm not so sure we can end the game. Polyproc, 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 poly, 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 poly. Oh yeah, the polyprocs are good. Oh, I get my poly off. It's at one health. This happened to me in the last video, man. It's one HP. All you had to do was not insta die to the Bologna. That's all you had to do was not insta die to the Bologna. That's how you, all you had to do was leap up in the air when the Bologna ulted or anything. Like anything. Two and one and stun something. <sighs> They're going to go to fire now. That. We could backdoor and end. Yes. If nobody's around, I can end by myself, but they'll they'll play defense and they'll watch. I already know. We're gonna go ahead and grab this 3k potion. Fire should die any second. It is enhanced, which is the scary part. Well, blood is not there. But they should be on it. That's that name so you could do it honestly by themselves. Did he just use his ult? Yeah, don't do that. Don't no. Oh, that wasn't it. We're not worried about them pushing. We're worried about fire. Oh, no. He's trying to backdoor the Titan. So if he messes this up, he resets it. And if he resets it, I can't kill it. I think he just... Yep. He's trolling, dude. Let's go to fire, guys. Come on. I just do so much damage. My ultimate hits for... <laughs> 2,500. We should just go left. The reason you're going left here is because if you mess up rushing the Titan, this gives you two, this gives you more pressure. And on top of it, if you push from two lanes at the same time, they shouldn't be able to defend the Titan. It should be impossible. Impossible is not, probably not true. It should be impossible. We'll see what happens. We get this Phoenix with enhanced. We have enhanced fire. So this is free. Like this, these, these are free. Got disarmed. I got disarmed. Oh, it was such a clutch disarm. Bro, we need to hit the Phoenix. The Phoenix, guys. Good kill, the Phoenix. Phoenix that one out. There you go. Uh, okay, we're fine. That's game. That should be game. Oh, 
Uh, he just trolled. Good, really good Aegis, though. Nice job. Nice job, guys. That disarm from the Bologna was... I don't know if he did it on purpose, but that was perfect. I should have just pre-beads it. I should have beads the disarm, landed my auto, and ulted on top of them, and it would have been over. I could have played that last fight a little bit better. It was super sloppy, though, because we had two in mid instead of just one, and it was really weird. And usually it should be me, the jungler, in mid, playing around that, not the solo. It was just a little weird. I'll take it. I'll take the dub. The dub arena. Not bad. Really? I did a lot of damage. That was fun. I'm surprised I had that much fun. I don't think they realized I bought Rangdas. Or maybe they just they just didn't care. GG win lane, then get camped. <laughs> and the more I think about that, he messaged me to tell me his cat made him miss Aegis. Alright, so Ho Yi with the damage build. The one that Double J ran on Atlas. Well, similar, not the exact build, but very similar. Kind of frags. A little bit, a little bit, a little fun. Had a good early game, which led to it, but it was kind of fun. Hopefully you just liked the video. Please drop a comment. Leave the build, the god, the role you want to see played. You haven't seen played yet, or maybe you have. You just want to see it again. Let me know. I appreciate it. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you all in the video later tomorrow, the next day, the next day, the next day. Like, subscribe. I'll see you all then.